guys, Angel here. Um, Chris isn't with me for this episode. She's doing whatever Chris does. Um, but I just want to talk to you guys about what is autism. Because there's like many kids around the world who have it. And it's actually very common to get it. Um, but for me, my um, I'm making this um, episode to tell you what it is but I actually think it's like special because my brother himself he has autism sorry um but he's full blown out autism and he's nonverbal nonverbal which means he can't talk um so he's known as severe but to us if you tried to live like three days with my brother you'd realize that he's not even severe they just say that since he can't talk but autism is very special to me and um i have a few things to represent autism like there's the pin and if you notice it's in the shape of a puzzle piece and you guys might be wondering why is the autism sign in a blue puzzle piece well um, the reason why it's a puzzle piece is on a na on a nationwide level, the puzzle piece symbol reflects like the mis a missing complexity of autism spectrum disorder, but people call it um, ASD. Also, since like you guys know how every puzzle piece it's like different, like none are like exactly the same, so it's like accurately representing the. Um, the difference of like the indi in <laughs> individual's effects, because not everyone has the same exact type of autism. It's my brother, Noah. Hi. Come here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is my brother Noah, and he has autism. He's very special to me, and if you look at him right now, how he's acting, you can tell he's not even, like, he doesn't have, like, major autism. But he's very special to me, and I wouldn't trade him for the world. But, um, if you, if you guys know anyone with autism, and you think, like, they're annoying, and, like, because me, he's, he'll annoy me a lot. But um, my mom told me just to think of her her uh, friend son, cause major is when they could go into like a seizure and stuff. But my mom's friend, like her son, has it major. Like he he like runs into walls and stuff, and it's very sad. But it's good. That I love ha hanging around kids, like especially with like any disability, it makes them feel. Sp I just like making them feel special. But um, what I've been doing actually, show my support is at my school. Um, during uh, the month of April is Autism Awareness Month, so I always went around with one of my friends selling these. It says, "Autism Speaks." It's time to listen. You could go to www.autismspeaks.org. Make a donation, help find a cure for autism, do whatever you want. And, um, and actually, my parents made a website for my brother since I've, we always attend the walk every year. We go for an autism walk, so show our support. So for him, we made um, a website called walkfornova.com. So this is what it kind of looks like. It says, welcome, family, friends, and guests. My name is Danny, and that's my dad. He goes, my wife Joanne and I have a 12-year-old daughter named Angelique and a 10-year-old son named Noah. Noah was diagnosed with autism early 2007. We have done a tremendous amount of research on autism. However, no matter how much you research, there is there are unanswered questions. One one out of 68 children are now diagnosed with autism, and no way can seem to tell us why. That's why I have decided to walk to help raise money to help in the research of autism. 
I've teamed up with my wife, Joanne, my daughter, Angelique, and of course my son, Noah, to create Noah's Ark, a team to help raise additional money for generous sponsors as yourself. My family has been participating in these annual walks since 2008, and Joanne and I have been members of the Autism Speaks May for Staten Island, New York, since 2012. Please help find a cure by making a donation on any one of our walkers page. I also want to thank the walkers who walked for Noah's Ark in previous years and any additional walkers we now have and will have this year. So my dad's a little thing. About Walking Out for Autism Speaks. Walking Out for Autism Speaks, the nation's largest grassroots autism walk program, is Autism Speaks signature fundraising and awareness events taking place in communities across the United States, as well as in Canada. Powered by volunteers and families with loved ones and on the autism spectrum and local autism spectrum and local businesses and companies that employ those on the spectrum. The successfully grassroots fundraising efforts not only generations vital funds for autism research but also raise awareness about the increasing prevalence of autism and the need to increase research funding to combat this complex disorder. And Toys R Us and Babies R Us actually um, um, sponsor autism awareness. They are helping out with us big time. They're our, um, they're 2014's national sponsors. Um, it says donations. Please click on a photo you'd like to donate to a sponsor. So it's my dad, my mom, me, and my brother. And people would do a ribbon with the colors red, yellow, white, blue, and dark blue. Kind of looks like that. But if you ever know someone with autism, don't get annoyed by them because you don't know what they're going through. Like, you have no idea what they're feeling inside or what they're looking at. Like, you don't know how they feel. You, if you, I would actually like to see what it's like to be my brother for a day. But I'm just saying, guys, autism is a very big thing, and I'm, I actually love kids with autism. I would like to do anything for my brother. So just keep calm, walk for autism. You only, if October, they always have a month for walking, I think, maybe by you, but you should see, you should see what's around about autism. Do some research, try to help find a cure, donate. Speak up. It's time to listen. Bye.